on today's episode of Moto Cheese. The following movie is rated I. Oh boys, it built a custom patch. And try it out. So I never did any tuning, but I basically Alex wanted me to mention it's a patch of the actual original tune. You just change some parameters. He also mentioned that if someone wants a custom tune, he'll do it. I uh, forget how much he said, like 20, 25 bucks. And you send your ECU and he'll program a custom tune however you like. I'll put all his information down below. Cheese Tune 01. Let me turn the key on here. That's still on COM4. Let's do it. I support it. I save a lot. I'm definitely sending this guy some money. I'm going to give him a donation. You have to. Done. So we'll take this for a little test drive and see how the cheesy tune works. Talked to Taco last night about the speedometer issue, and he seems to think it's the pickup sensor. That little piece here. He's probably right. So what I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to take the DLX back up north with me. So I can fix whatever little issues it has and mess around with the tune a little more. I think that's a good idea. Then maybe I'll get that Grom clone done enough to bring down with me next trip. You play at your own risk with this stuff, of course. Well, let's see how this cheesy tune works. Let's see if it'll start on its own. Oh yeah. We'll do a test. And I want to check out, it's like this waterfront piece. It has a couple campers on it, down in Ozello. I think they're asking like 169 or something. A little more than I want to pay, but I'll take a look at it anyway. Changed a few parameters. There's where that truck wrecked. Found out some more information on that, on their investigation. And I don't really want to reveal yet because I don't want to interfere with their investigation. Uh, I should have went the other way, huh? Uh, I'll put my GPS on when I get down there. sugary as it dries out. Feels alright. I did see the timing section. I don't know what each one of them does, but I'm going to have to learn it. Looks like advance the timing a little bit. seconds. I'll get this one working again. So yeah, Alex will build you a custom tune. I'll put his email, contact information. And I think that counts for all the Delphi computer models, you know, the ECM. Stay within the line, boys. That must be a lady. All that pink. So 
someone mentioned you could put a turbo on this now. Yeah, I suppose you could. <laughs> hot out today I did 61 max today had a few people mention that their speedometers are off 10 to 15 percent so that explains why my 0 to 60 looks so slow because of the lag of this and my speedometer was off counter because then I can drive and record then you know exactly what you got I'll pull off up here and put my GPS on looks like some new cleared properties there problem on this side of 98 is you have to have flood insurance if you have a house Personally, I'd like to just have property with a little tiny cabin, something I don't have to worry about, on stilts maybe, some place to leave the boat, go out in the water. Definitely has got more pull than stock, than stock flash that is. It's the Salt River, the bridge. I want to take this someday to go all the way. That's when me and Andrew, yeah, I have to put my top down, but this goes all the way over to Homosassa so we can go to Crump's and hit up those restaurants over there. Mm. Oh, all right, great. Just ran that bottle over a little. These idiots throw glass bottles out. Any garbage. Oh uh, good, I got a speedometer there too. That's Salt River. Oh, that might be Salt River. Or that might be Salt River. <laughs> hey, attention, Chizo. For sale for rent. That's a cool spot. Check it out on the way back. A lot of these side roads I like to check out someday. I've been here where this part of the road is flooded. Probably only about a foot. There's another for sale by owner. A foot above sea level here. Peacock scared the hell out of me. This must be it here. A couple little 
shacks. Got a little cabin, some RVs, <laughs> oh, little crabs. What's up, buddy? Ow! <laughs> Jeez, tons of crabs. I get my phone. Bunch of crabs. Hey, Mr. Crabs. Oh! <laughs> Got some fishes. That one's out in the water. The channel seems pretty deep out there. Oh, it's got a lot of little little cabins. This would be pretty neat, cleaned up, I think. Now. Definitely need some cleaning up. Do my own hot dog cart too. Yeah, I'd like to get some waterfront. So I think it's like, I think it said like 1.2 acres or something. Another hot dog cart. Look at that. It's a nice piece of land. It needs a little cleaning up. That's an old link belt right there. here might as well go to the end I see you guys didn't come through with donations so I can get my waterfront home down here Jeez, Cletus gets miles of concrete work done quarter mile donations I must have the wrong clientele that's watching me <laughs> I'm just kidding This is the one that gets flooded here. Yeah, boy! ATV on the road. That's for sale. be on the water boys not necessarily a house like I said just be cool to put the pontoon boat have a little tiny cabin like the one back there something I don't really have to worry about easy to take care of Them turkey buzzards
think it's still free to launch here. nice out here. A little peninsula. Actually it's probably an island because it is separated by that river so it's an island. What's down the end of here? Take a look. Check out Ozello. Don't forget those awesome air boat rides that we did. Them guys are cool. That was fun. Just houses. on stilts because yep it floods here what the heck is that a little golf cart hummer that was weird I gotta stop at this restaurant. Many of you guys said I should, and I haven't yet. Definitely will. Nine miles out to here. Definitely more torque pulling out of corners than a stock flash. Ah, I should have took my fishing pole. I made up a little kit while I was up north I brought down with me. The strap on the back. That's what she said. Well, a nice little boat for sale. That's exactly what I was looking for, huh? And it's a low like my pontoon boat. 2500 runs good. And that's not bad. Let me check this thing out. Nice and light. Floor seems pretty good. Got an old Johnson on her. Must have a live well. Now oh, it's got a power trim. What the heck? I never seen one like that. good nice little boat probably do about 25 with that 35 on here nice This is exactly what I'd like to have. Oop, what a hit. Tree. <laughs> Got a bimini top. Not too bad. And a low is a good name. I clutch and sometimes I don't up shifting is that where's the place that's for sale that ain't it is it there's the air boats there's something for sale mm, there's another one we got to try out 
Island Post Bar and Grill. Fantastic treasures, Blackwater Fins, Waterfront Dining and Lodge, another one. Oh, there's for sale for rent. Probably too much money for me though. And you know what? We'll take a look. Why not? Maybe they won't mind me taking a peek at it. Maybe they will. Maybe they won't. Well, it's got its own little dock. Wow, yeah, this is this is way bigger than I thought. Got a little tiny launch. Oh, it's right next to the restaurant. <laughs> Look at that. Right next door to the restaurant. <laughs> Got a little toilet and laundry room. What the heck is that thing? Oh, that must be the air conditioner. Telemarketer, eh? Huh. Almost looks like it's a uh, two family. Well, I'll call. You never know. Not a big piece of land, but you gotta be rich, yo. Know? That big piece of land on the water with a house. That must be Salt River there. I'm gonna look it up. Hmm. Black Creek. There's Salt River. Next bridge. That's Salt River. And that way is home of Sasa. Tide is a little bit low, but not really super low. And it still looks like it's like more than five, six feet there. Can't really see how high the bridge is though. Maybe from over here. Can't see. Can't see the height of the bridge. What river is this? I guess I could get underneath that one. Let's see what this is. Ah, that's Salt River too. So I must fork off. Fork off. Your log right there. Whoa, that was full. <laughs> Whoops, sprayed my leg a little. My parents aren't home. Here are some thunder boomers in the background. Dead snake. Fling snake. That old fork. That's a pin. 
get the wagon. Single axle trailer. Single axle. On a dual. It's flashing pretty fast. I wonder if my back one's working. No panty tree this trip, boys. up again. She said my blinker on old time. What a noob. <laughs> what do you want, Sega? You want to snap. I hope it's lightning. Holy cow. I don't know, but it's pretty. It's a lot, that's for sure. Yeah. But it's like in the same spot over and over. Wow. How come we don't hear anything? It's been doing that, like the same spot over and over, but yes. no noise. That's crazy. Well, he's coming. Stay. Hey, uh, I, ah, get over here. Come on. Get in here. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products used are in the description and on motoshees.com. Thanks for watching.